In this tutorial, we're going to configure the Okta single sign-on in Senya Segura. First, we need to create an application in Okta. To do this, go to Application, Applications, Create App Integration. Select the option SAML 2.0. Click on Next. Let's give this application a name. To make it easier to identify the app here in Okta, we're going to include a logo. Click Apply, then click Next. In the SAML configurations, we're going to type in Senya Segura's SAML address. So I'm going to use the address for my vault. https colon backslash flow backslash saml backslash auth backslash assert. In audience URI, we're going to add the application name here. And in application username, we're going to choose Okta username prefix. And it will give us the username exactly like it is configured in Senya Segura. And you just click Next. Under Feedback, put I'm an Okta customer, adding an internal app, and Finish. After this, we're going to add users. We're going to assign the users here in the application. These are the users who have single sign-on authorization in Senya Segura. For username, I'll keep a Dennis, which is exactly the same as what's in Senya Segura. Then, done. Now go to the tab that says Sign On, View Setup Instructions. Here I'm going to copy this URL, which we are going to use inside Senya Segura. Now, inside Senya Segura, we browse over to the Settings menu, Authentication, Providers. I'm going to activate the SAML protocol provider. that's now activated. Now scroll down the menu until you get to SAML, Providers. I'm going to add a new provider. Click New Provider. Here you're going to select Okta. In Entity ID, I'm going to put the name of my application. For SAML Provider Metadata URL, I paste the URL that I copied from Okta. And I make sure the URL login and logout addresses match. It's the same as this address here. And here in domain or public IP, I'm going to type in the Senya Segura vault address. HTTPS, Produto Stablo, Lab. Then I save it. Now all I need to do is test authentication. I'm going to log on with SSO and Okta. There you go, configured and working.